All right, guys, so this is just a 12 by 24 piece of MDF that I've, you know, sanded the edges on there, put wood filler in it or whatnot. Um, got it kind of looking nice. So what we'll be using today, I got some Art Tree Creations uh, white pigment paste. I've got some pigment. It's just like the same kind you can get from like the bath bombs, you know, like on Amazon. So they sell like the powders for that stuff. I don't know. It seems to work good. It's like this aqua color I found. Uh, this is Pinata Baja Blue Ink. So it looks pretty good with the art tree paste. I'm gonna try this out today. I've never tried this epoxy jade. Got a couple golden colors here. In that color so I'm gonna make sure they're both open and ready to go because I just got them yeah they're both open okay then I'm gonna try some spray paint today I've never tried spray paint before so gonna give it a shot turns out like shit don't blame me the brand of epoxy I use is pro marine right there so you need equal amounts of part A and part B. So what I've got for equal amounts, I've got just little five ounce cups. This is probably gonna be way too much. But just little five ounce cups like that. And I've got a, a bigger cup ready to rock and roll. Of course, some of the common things you'll need, you'll need, you know, gloves. You'll need some uh, popsicle sticks or whatnot. And then just little little mixing cups. So this is one of the lower ones I ever do. Most of the time what I learned on was a two foot by two foot piece of wood. So we'll try and see how this goes. So what I like to do is add a little bit of the the lighter part of the epoxy. Then I try to add all the heavier stuff. And I'm going to take this off of here just so I can kind of get to it easier while I'm mixing it up. Okay, just take a popsicle stick and just go in there at it and just get it all out of there. Okay, so I've got all that out. Now I'm going to add the lighter part to it. Now one thing you want to make sure you do when you're mixing this stuff is always, always, always go around and scrape the edges like that. Scrape the edges, scrape the edges, scrape the edges. Then you can, you know, rotate your cup like that and just kind of stir. So, all right. So we're about three and a half minutes into this video, so I need to stir till about seven, seven and a half. That's how I do it. So we're gonna keep, keep, keep on stirring. I don't know where you guys are from, but uh, I don't know, it's like July something, but we got some tornadoes going on here in Des Moines right now, Des Moines Altoona area. I live in Pleasant Hill and I'm like a mile away from those and it's bright and sunny. I don't know where everybody else is from. So leave something in the comments, let me know where you're from. I'm just mixing away, trying to talk. It'll just, you know, it'll start to get cloudy or whatnot. Just keep going at it. Yeah. I have no idea what to talk about with you guys, but it's one of the first videos I ever made. It's not a live one. I've done like three or four live ones. But yeah, I just keep mixing. Mix, mix, mix. Uh, I've tried, let's see, I tried Foma Wood Epoxy. You can get that, you know, most of the hardware stores like Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, and we have Menards here in Iowa. It, it's not a bad epoxy, but 
I've just found for the price range or whatnot, you know, Pro Marine, it works pretty good. Um, I did try a cheap brand from a place called Creative Solutions out of like Atlanta area. I wouldn't go with their stuff. That's the only brand I've, I've tried that I wouldn't recommend so far. Um, as far as that, I've also got some uh, FX countertop epoxy here. That stuff works great. I mean, it dries hard as a rock. Real good stuff. But yeah, for most of my base coat stuff, I, I do tend to go with Pro Marine epoxy. All right, I'm still mixing away, still mixing away. Still mixing. So we got about another minute and some change. I'm going to set that down just for a second, go grab some more cups. I think I'm a little shy. All right, cool. Kind of getting some stuff situated. All right, back to mixing. Then just make sure, like I said, make sure you scrape the sides and then just rotate the cup in your hand. I think it's getting just about there. You can kind of, if you've done a lot, you can kind of feel it. It feels like it kind of gets thinner and you can feel your hand, you know. You don't want to get completely hot, but you can feel the temperature, you know, start to rise just a tiny bit. And one thing that I see that everybody always posts about is, you know, the resin getting hot in the cup or whatnot. You got to work fast with it, you know. This stuff you only get about, I'd say some days 25 minutes, then other days you get about 45 minutes with Pro Marine. But that's my experience. Uh, and then when it sits in the cup like this, you know, and then you've got a lot of volume to it, for some reason the chemical reaction is what starts to happen, and then it just, you know, gets gets hot, starts smoking in the cup. So, all right, I think this is done. So what I usually do is I go on top of my piece of artwork, you know, board, canvas, whatnot. I usually, I mostly use boards. That's my thing. So I like wood. My mind resin was designed for wood. Um, you can primer canvas. I've just, I've never had very good luck with it, so I stick with what works for me. And if it works good for me, then that's what I do. I'm not gonna lie, you know, sometimes most of my pieces, they will need, you know, another coat or whatnot. Uh, usually I found with resin, unless you get real, real lucky, it's not a, it's not a one coat and done type of product. All right, and I just kind of go around, make sure I get all my edges. Go around, and I like to, I like to go over the edges like that. Get kind of, get a little coating on there, you know, just something. Sometimes when it dries, it looks good. Sometimes it doesn't look good on the side. You got to put a little bit more on if you do a second coat. Okay, hopefully you all can still see it. All right, I'm gonna grab a napkin and clean my hands off real quick. And I do see some places where I missed. So I gotta kinda hit these over here a little bit. There we go. All right. Actually, I'm going to turn another light on in this room because I'm used to uh, this light being on too. Kind of my eyes, you know, your eyes get used to something and then kind of helps you see better. Okay. Cool. I think I got it all. All right, now I'm going to go through the torch. And I know this is just, you know, a little coat on there, but I like to go through and pop the bubbles. So, regular old torch. Bam, bam, bam. You don't have to hit it real hard because you're still going to be messing with it, you know, but just try to get out some of the bubbles. All right. I'm happy with that. Okay. So that's got our regular coat on there. It's our base coat. I've still got about this much resin left. 
I'm going to start filling up my little uh, shot glasses or whatnot, my little mixing cups, whatever you want to call them. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. So I'm going to put about seven of them. I do about equal volume. Unless you have one color, you got to try to use more of. Well, sometimes you can eyeball it, sometimes you can't. So, just kind of getting these cups all evened out. Okay, so most of them I would say ended up with about half full. Start to make some bubbles in there. All right, so everybody that you know always asks, well, how much pigment do I mix in with it? How much pigment do I mix in with it? Okay, I'm gonna show you because this is a real small amount. What I always kind of go off of is you know a little bit stronger is a little bit better. That's what I do. So we'll see how this looks. And I just put mine right in on the top. I'm not a big fan of putting it on the bottom because it seems like you got to scrape the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to keep adding all my ingredients. How much ink do I add? Well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks good to me. Nine drops. We'll see how that comes out. Since this is real little volume, this pigment paste stuff, in my experience, you don't need a whole ton of it. So. And this pigment paste, it's kind of weird. It's like more like a paste, you know, kind of like glue for all you people that have came from uh, pouring and now you're trying to get into resin. So you don't need a whole ton of it. So use about that much of it. Okay. Ugh. I need to get another napkin. Hold on. hands get sticky and things get messy okay all right so back to another pigment paste again this was the uh, jade so we'll put the jade in here real quick like I said guys not a lot on the small quantities you know maybe that much all right now as far as paint goes I don't use a whole ton because that's where you can mess up, you know, and then the stuff starts to get hard as a rock before you can even get it on there. So what I do is just a little bit, just one. Yeah, probably about that much. And I just kind of go from there, you know, see how it looks. Some paints are more translucent than others. Some are not. Paint kind of immediately falls down to the bottom of the resin. Oh, didn't mean to bump it. All right. Then we're going to go to this color. Added just about the same exact amount. And the part that I've never done before, the spray paint. Everybody says do that outside. I'm going to try it inside, see what happens. Here we go. All right. Oh, that's crazy. It's just, just two quick little bursts, is all that I did. Okay, cool. 
All right, I'm gonna start mixing, mixing, mixing. So I just mix, 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 mix. Just mix, 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 mix. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Very pretty color. I don't really have a game plan for this on what I'm gonna do. I'm just trying to make a quick little video for you guys. The ink, mixing the ink. I'll show you something cool with this ink today. It's pretty cool. I'll show you something cool with it. Mix, 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 mix. Mix that motherfucker. All right, she's mixed. Here we go, here's some paint. Mix, 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 mix the paint. Ooh, this has got to get hot. I'm going to have to get it on there pretty quick. I'm a little too strong on it. Let's see how she goes. All right, I got to get this other stuff mixed. And the other color of paint. Actually, I think this is the pigment paste. Yeah, this is the pigment paste. Did I miss something? Oh yeah, I got another one over here. That's right. Yeah, I about missed it. All right. Mix, mix, mix. Here's the other paint. Good looking. Oh yeah, and then the board. Yeah, I start with uh, spray paint the board first. You know, don't go white. I mean, you can go white, but like I usually start with black or something like that. But yeah, you can kind of do whatever you want. You don't always have to use white. You know. So. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna put the. Pigment down first. I like putting pigment down first. We'll just kind of pick something. I don't know. Right through the middle. Save some of it. What else we want to do? Oh yeah, this one's getting hard already. We better get some of it on there. We'll just kind of go right next to it. Bam. Bam. Bam to Jesus. Some more paint. Whooped. Whooped. Somebody asked me what art is the other day, you know? Like I was turning a painting in or something for some competition, and she's like, Does it speak to you? And I was like, uh like I just kind of pick the pretty colors and put them where I think they look good at. And that's honestly what I do, you know. So honestly, that's what I do. Alright. I'm gonna try to go a little darker in the middle. Right through here like that. Bam. Bam. And then we'll come through here. I've never, like I said, I've never tried the spray paint stuff, so I don't know how the hell it's gonna look. It might look like shit, it might look good. Kind of just go a little square on her. See what she looks like. I'm gonna blow this thing out. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm saving the saving the ink and the uh, paste, the white paste for last. So save that for last. All right, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, air dryer all set up. Bam! Go blow it around.
Okay, so that looks kind of cool. So, but we'll see what else we can do. This is this is where it kind of comes to your own eyes, you know. So, let's see what else will look good. I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Some more of that green. I'm gonna try some of this spray painted green straight down the middle. we got here and we're gonna do some more pigment kind of just this is a cool looking color so we'll just kind of go bloop, 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 bloop. let's see what she ends up looking like all right and go some more blue follow it kind of I come with my own sound effects, if you didn't know. Alright, okay, time to get some of this white on there, see what happens. So, let's go. Keep that number there, we'll save a little bit. Come back up here, see what we got. I always go at angles. I don't know what it is. Just something in my mind likes angles. Okay. Now, we're going to go to the ink. I'm going to try to put the ink on top of the white. I'll show you why. Alright. I'm going to blow it around a little bit more with the... Uh, So that's where we're at now. I'm going to switch over to the heat gun and see what we can get to happen. Put the heat on and see what happens. Get the light spread out a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, daddy likes that. Alright, oh, yeah. That kind of just sprawls out. That's a good thing with that pigment paste, it kind of, kind of meet the effects it can give you.
All right. So I blew it out in my mind a little too much, like right there. That's what I don't like right now. So I can kind of go back up there and just add some stuff to it. See what we can get to happen. I'm just kind of adding a random right now, you know. Still got some white left. And we'll put some heat back on top of it and see what happens. We're starting to see some cells and stuff. Kind of cool looking. Alright, we're just going to blow it out with the heat gun. Everybody's got kind of like their own mind on, you know, what art is and what looks good or what not. But I just kind of go off of my eye and what I see I think looks right. All right, I'm gonna call that done. So, I don't know how long, oh, 30 minute video. Yeah, so if all you guys wanna watch it or whatnot, okay, and then tip the newbies too so you don't have to sand or whatnot. Always go around the bottom, like with a popsicle stick like this. Gets all your stuff off there, and you can kinda of go around, just check your edges or whatnot. Look your work over, make sure no dust, debris, anything like that fell into it. Um, sometimes too, with using heat like this, and like I kinda of went into this knowing I was gonna to have to do a second coat, so, you know, don't be afraid of it if you get, you know, if it dries and you have dimples or, or stuff going on. You just got to sand it down, you know, with, uh, oh, I start with about like, you know, 150, 200. And then I just wipe it all down and come back in and put another coat of resin on it. All right. Cool. I'm going to keep doing the corners or whatnot. And, uh, yeah. everybody have fun. See ya. Bye-bye.